Jeremy Ryan reporting from Defending Wisconsin Political Action Committee, www.defendingwisconsin.org. Uh, today, there are two parts to this video. The first part is where I get yet another ticket. This one is for sound amplification without permit. Now, this is another uh, interesting, uh, here, I'll kind of show you right here. There's a ticket, sound amplification without permit. Uh, at DOA Administrative Code, once again, uh, issued on 5-6-2011, and um, this is kind of an interesting one. Uh, what had ended up happening was uh, a friend of mine had had an amplified sound system, and they had been, uh, you know, talking to people on the street and, you know, just kind of using the amplified sound system, and the police officer had said that if they did not remove it, they would get a ticket. And so, of course, uh, I then asked them, I had a small megaphone, uh, actually, um, I will get a copy, I will get one of those megaphones, just wait on. This right here is the megaphone I had. This megaphone right here. It's not very large. Um, it obviously cannot produce very uh, great sound. Um, it just amplifies your voice a little bit. And uh, this is what I got the ticket with, was for using this megaphone and yelling recall Walker on the State Street end at the bottom of the steps in the, ca or the State Street Capitol, you know, the steps that go up to the Capitol at the bottom of those steps. And so during this video, um, I was beforehand previously told that if I, uh, I asked when they told uh, my friend to remove his, uh, his amplification system, if this, since it's so small and does not create that much sound really, uh, would qualify as amplified sound? And the officer said yes. And so then I realized something. Restricting someone's use of amplified sound uh, is unconstitutional. And actually, uh, Ben Maisel, as you'll uh, hear me listen in the video, um, back when he was uh, back when he was still with us. He had actually won a lawsuit on using amplified sound without a permit. And the statute is still on the books. And so I decided, what should I do? Well, I'm going to take this to the edge. And so the officer said, well, if I come back and you're still using it, then I will give you a ticket. I'll have to give you a ticket. And so he came back, uh, he came back later on, or another officer came and gave me a ticket. Apparently there was one person who complained. Um, now, I will tell you. There's a residential building, like six, seven buildings down from where I was at. So they wouldn't have been able to hear. Other than that, there's absolutely no residential buildings whatsoever. Now, there are a bunch of drunk people that are, uh, that are even perhaps louder than my megaphone um, that uh, are walking around. But uh, the, the whole residential building thing does not stand because the residential building is almost a full block away from where we were at. And this is not a very loud megaphone uh, by any means and so uh, and so someone uh, had apparently complained and uh, obviously uh, probably just because they didn't like the message of the recall walker and a few other messages I was saying and so they complained and uh, I got a ticket and so uh, taking another stand I do plan to fight this ticket completely and I do plan to uh, take it as far as it needs to go to get this policy completely removed. Um, and then the second is when we go into a lobbying office with a bunch of Koch Brothers lobbyists. Please, everyone, share this video. Uh, post it on your Facebook wall. Post it on every Facebook group and page that you're a part of so that it gets out there. Everyone needs to know these unconstitutional practices still exist. It's sad. It's sick. It's pathetic. But it's true. Jeremy Ryan reporting from Defending Wisconsin Political Action Committee www.defendingwisconsin.org How's it going? Good, how are you? Alright. Hey, you, sir. Have you already spoken with Officer Henry tonight? Yes, I have, and I respectfully uh, disagree and uh, decline to comply, simply for the matter of that it's still constitutionally protected in DOA. My administrative code does not supersede the Constitution. Well, 
as I've already proven with uh, all four of my tickets holding signs on the floor. We, we got a complaint them. here about a noise disturbance. Well, that's, uh, I mean, if a Tea Party member complains, that's fine. Complaint or no complaint, I still have my freedom of speech. I don't know who complained. All right, well, complaint or no complaint, I still have my freedom of speech. And so but that's, you don't, the, the thing that you don't have, you don't have the freedom to disturb other people. And, they're in a public place. You can't just go around shouting things and disturbing people. I so people yeah. can ever protest, sir? Yeah. Certainly they can protest. Well, every time I protest... Only I'm if they people. agree, or... Yeah, I said nothing about I'm that. I'm not trying to put you on the yeah. spot, sir. Uh, but that'd be I the mean, only... Clearly you are with the camera. But. Well, but that'd be the only reason why it would be disturbing them is because they disagree. I'm not shouting directly. Because this is a public area, and because... Uh, and because this is... Uh, you know, this is my constitutional right. And so I refuse to comply. You can give me a ticket, and then I will go ahead and leave. Uh, but uh, I need to either get a ticket or I'm going to continue to work. I'm looking for voluntary cooperation. I know that it's your job. This is what you do. You come out here, and you want to be on camera, and you put it on YouTube, and you try to get us to overreact. I don't try to get no, 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 sir. That's not it. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Listen, yeah. hear me out. No, that's not my job. My job is to protect the Constitution. That's my job. I don't want you to overreact at all. I want this to be a peaceful and friendly conversation. And But what I do, overreact is not a ticket. That's not overreact. I don't want you to overreact. What I want is for that... For me to get a ticket so that I can overturn this entire policy, which is completely garbage, and against the U.S. Constitution and the state Constitution. But disorderly conduct is not part of the administration's policy. It's just not free speech. Okay, well, if you give me disorderly conduct for exercising my freedom of speech, then I'll overturn that. Uh, then I'll overturn the whole sound amplification statute as well on top of it. And that... I, Listen, if you look at my, if you look at... I'm not even talking about the other thing. Well, I haven't called that you're discussing. I'm talking yeah. about disorderly conduct and we have people calling in and complaining. And you're disturbing them. Whether they're Walker fans or not, you're disturbing people. And I don't know. You're the one accusing them of being Walker fans. They're probably residents of the ground. Well, I highly doubt that. But, um, but I mean, you can go ahead and give me a disorderly conduct, too. That's going to be challenged as well because I have every right to be, uh, to be exercising my freedom of speech. Not at all hours of the night, not shouting and disturbing people. That's the thing. Do you know what kind of noise is on this street? Sure. I, I, I highly doubt that the people that are in those condo buildings can hear me if I say, We call Walker. I highly doubt they'll be able to hear me. I, I don't know where they are. How's it going? I highly doubt that they'll be able to hear me. We're not trying to put you guys in an uncomfortable position, but... I am going to cite you for the admin site phone right. violation because I did give you a verbal warning. Yeah. Yes, sir. Everything current for address? And I will put this down now. Uh, yes. Or no, actually it's not. Uh, my address is... Uh, the, the day crew Do you knows want my this? address by, this? by heart. No, well, that's fine. I can okay. jot down my address. Okay. And I will make it known that you were very friendly and, you know... The best ever. Yeah. Phone number two, please. All right. No, no problem. Bob, Earlier this on. officer had said he had gotten calls, and now he's saying he only got one call. Okay. I don't know if I said calls or call, but we well, did get oh, at least one yeah. call that I'm aware of. And you obviously have mistaken me because you think that I try to. You obviously don't know what I do because you said that I try to get people to overreact and I don't. Period. You look at it your way, I see it my way. I mean, I know what you do. I've seen plenty of your videos. I know who you are. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's great. And uh, overreact is kind of a harsh term to use. Now, now Officer Mail did uh, physically lay hands on me, and that was on a time when I wanted to get it to that. But um, <laughs> that was an overreact. But that was completely unjust. Now, other than that, the Capitol Police has been wonderful. I don't think any one of them have overreacted on any times. They were just following orders. They were supposed to give me a ticket, and so they did. That's not an overreaction. It's kind of insulting the you know, department to call what they did. Well, generally, we, we 
all the people that are doing the dis creating disturbance, and we ask them to quiet down or to leave or whatever, and they leave. So, I mean, obviously, you want to take it to the next level when it's really not that necessary. Well, actually, it is because the Constitution is always necessary. I don't know if you knew my friend Ben Mazel, who recently passed away, but uh, he I bet they did. This specific, this specific thing, and so, and he had one. And so if you still want to bring it up, it's insulting to him and his honor, and it's insulting to the Constitution that you're sworn to protect. Well, what we're, what we're this is what we're going to do right now. I'm just going to raise the citation, and I'm going to ask you to leave for the day and come back tomorrow. Okay? Sounds great, man. Jeremy Ryan reporting from Defending Wisconsin Political Action Committee, www.defendingwisconsin.org. You must... Uh, you probably recognize this building. This building is located at 10 East Doty Street. 10 East Doty. Um, apparently, the Koch Brothers' office uh, is missing. We've been all over the seventh floor, and the Koch Brothers' office is missing. However, there is an office um, of lobbyists called WEDA, W-E-D-A, WEDA. And uh, they are uh, basically uh, heavily related to the Koch lobbying. And so we're going to go pay them a visit. Apparently the lady there isn't very nice. And so we're going to go get some footage. Sounds for we the people that got Walker elected. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to look for sweet 500. 500. Sweet 500 is actually not. Oh, Amy Boyer. There we go. Yeah. The Hamilton Consulting Group. Yes, hello. Uh, we're just coming in to inquire. Um, my name is Jeremy Ryan from Defending Wisconsin Political Action Committee. Uh, we were just inquiring that, one, this office existed, and uh, two, that you had uh, this office, and two, that you hire the one we're standing in, and two, that, uh, that it uh, contains Amy Boyer, um, the, one of the lobbyists for the Coke Industries PAC. Um, so So do you do lobbying for Coke Industries at this office? I, you know, I'm going to call security is what I think I'm going to do. You're going to call Are security? Are you just floating around the building? No, we can see you specifically. I don't we can see you. You, you must, are, are you Jennifer? Mm, Jennifer doesn't, she's not here right now. Oh, okay. Jennifer was the one that was got a little violent phone. Well, I mean, you can feel free to call security. It's uh, Yeah. So, uh, as you can see, Amy Boyer, uh, she lobbies for the <laughs> Coke Industries Pact. And as you can see by the uh, by the fact that uh, you know they're not very happy that we're here, it makes it quite Thank obvious you. that this is a bit of a shady office. She never asked us to leave. I know. That's why I'm kind of waiting. Jennifer's not here. <laughs> Jennifer. Oh, there's Jennifer. Jennifer So. Hey guys, what's up? Hamilton Consulting. Hey. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> we were just coming to inquire about if uh, you guys do lobbying from for Coke Industries uh, because you do have some lobbyists here that do do quite a bit of lobbying for Coke Industries. We we're just coming to inquire on that. Well, I actually don't work in this office, but oh. um, I like to, this is a private office, I like to ask you to leave. All right, that's fine. She didn't. She just said I'm calling security right. without asking us to leave, so we figured that we had every right Thank to stay. So but Thanks. we're compliant. Okay. We're not going to give you any trouble. Right, Thank you. We'll Have a good one. Good day. Thank you for